Yo, how's it going, everyone? So recently, I started watching this anime called Hunter x Hunter, or Hunter x Hunter, whichever one you prefer to call it. And it's been a really good anime so far. I've been really enjoying it. And I had a thought randomly come to me while watching it. So the power types that they have in there, like, or their power scaling, the way their power works, and how they do things, is through Nen. And Nen is basically the manifestation of their aura, which can come out in a type of attack. What it would pe the gods and goddesses and smites Nen type be? And so that's what this video is basically going to be about. I'm going to combine smite with hunter hunter and figure out what the gods and or goddesses Nen type would be. Now for those who don't know, Nen is basically the manifestation of one's aura which allows them to fight and pull off like super moves in a way. Uh, kind of the equivalent, if you want to compare it to, the equivalent of like Chakra from Naruto. Kind of similar to that. But with Nen, there are six different types of Nen. You have Enhancers, Transmuters, Emitters, Conjurers, uh, Manipulators, and Specialists. I'm going to give a quick little description to what each of the six different Nen types are. Enhancers uh, kind of basically, you know, fall under what they do. They enhance their physical strength, make themselves faster, and can even heal themselves. A transmuter uses their aura, and they can kind of change the way it works. They changes, like, its form and shape. They can make it, like, stretchy and sticky, like gum or something like that. Or they can make it, like, turn into, like, electricity. They can change the form and shape of their aura. Emitters can... They basically just shoot their aura out. Emitters use their aura and push it out. They shoot it at you. Conjurers use their aura to transform into objects of sorts. You can transform your aura into a sword, a dagger, spear, any of the sort. You basically use your aura to transform it into weapons or objects that you'll need. Manipulators use their aura to control living or non-living things and control them at will. And then specialists are broken. They're just OP. Because a specialist is everything. And a specialist is enhancer, emitter, transmuter, conjurer, manipulator. They're everything. They're every one of the categories. They're very minimal, but they're broken. One of the things with Nen is you are stuck with the one you were born with. You were born into a specific type of Nen. So if you were born an enhancer, you are an enhancer. But as an enhancer, you can actually step into other auras, in a sense. You can step into the other types of Nen. You won't be able to master it or get a full grasp of it, but you can kind of use a little bit of another. So if you're an enhancer, you can use a little bit of emitter and a little bit of transmuter, not so much ever really a manip manipulators or a conjurers, and it kind of just works in a little flow chart. The ones that are closest to you, you can use very well, and the ones farthest from you, you can't use very well, except for specialists, because like I said, they're freaking broken, and they can just do everything they please, but nothing can ever really step into being a specialist. Everything, every other Nen type for to be a specialist is at zero. All right, now that we have the explanation of Nen types and how they work and everything like that out of the way, Basically how this video is going to go is I'm going to go through the, each different one of the categories we have in Smite, starting in the order of Assassin, then Guardian, Hunter, Mage, and Warrior. And I'm going to pick three different gods from each one of the categories and go over what I think their Nen type would be. I'm only doing three for the moment because trying to do every god in one video would be very, very long, I feel like. But I'll probably do a part two to it uh, in the future. All right, now with that, let's just jump straight into it with our first category being assassins. And for the first assassin, I chose Bakasura. And for Bakasura, I believe he would be a manipulator, mostly just due to the fact of his ult. His ult is a big part of Bakasura's kit. He regurgitates minions and controls them. And that's basically what a manipulator does. In a sense, you could say Bakasura is using his aura to control the minions he regurgitates. And it kind of can also work because he can also slightly step into an enhancer category where he can eat the minion, uh, get heal from it, and that's also how like his manipulator ability would work. He would eat the minion or eat whatever he eats and hold it to control it later. Also with his butcher blades, he can also kind of just enhance them a little bit. But like the biggest key to Bakasura is his ult, and his ult basically is controlling of minions. So that's why I personally believe he would be a manipulator. Next up, we have Kamazots, and Kamazots, I believe, would be an emitter. Mostly due to the fact that both of his abilities, he's kind of more projectiling out. Like, he, he's throwing his bats and he's throwing his screech, kind of like he's shooting his aura at you. And that's what an emitter does, they shoot their aura at you. 
Plus, as an emitter, he can step into the category of an enhancer once again and heal from it like his 2 and his 3 does. He has two ways of healing, which brings him closer to being an enhancer. And plus, like, when he goes into the alt, he's, he, like, it would kind of almost seem like he's making himself a bit stronger, like an enhancer does. But mostly he's an emitter because of the fact that his first two abilities are all, he's, like, shooting out his aura. That's basically, like, what it would feel like he's doing. And last on the list, we have Susano, who I believe would be a transmuter. Mostly just due to the fact of him, like, controlling storms. It's a sense you could say it's him turning his aura into the storms around him. He's turning it into, like, the thunder and clouds and wind, all that stuff. He's using his aura and transforming his aura into clouds to control, or into the storms that he controls. Being able to throw his aura, like, at you, like, like he's able to throw out the storm cloud at you and then throw, like, his giant storm uh, tornado at you. Like, that's... Personally, just how it seems to me, like he's using his aura and transforming it into a storm. Alright, so now we're on to Guardians. And for the first Guardian, I chose Ardio. And I believe Ardio would be an Enhancer. Mostly due to the fact that she hits hard, like an Enhancer does, and she heals a lot. A lot of her stuff is around healing and being aggressive and like an Enhancer type of style. You know, she's strong, she can make herself faster at you, she like heals herself like a lot of her kit revolves around like those main things and those main things are what basically an enhancer is she's basically using her aura to drain the life from you heal herself and hit you really hard with her aura and that's basically what an enhancer is so that's why i personally believe she would be an enhancer next up we have capri and now this one's going to be a little bit of a stretch i personally believe capri would be a manipulator mostly just due to his alt his alt he kind of can control you in a way he makes you faster, and he makes it to where if you do die, he will bring you back. Plus, I he also, like, his passive gives you a bit of a shield. In a sense, it's kind of like a manipulator. But like I said, this one's a little bit, I feel like a little bit more of a stretch. It's just mostly with his ult, he's controlling you, making you faster, can bring you back. And then his passive will also, you know, give you a little bit of a shield if, you stay, if you're near him. Kind of similar to what a manipulator can do. And the last one on the list, we have Ymir. And personally, I believe Ymir is a transmuter. Mostly due to the fact that it's kind of like he's turning his aura into ice. You know, he's using his aura, like he's changing his aura into ice to freeze you, to create ice spikes, to slow you, to make the giant explosion, all those things. He's kind of using his aura in that sense, changing its shape and the form and the way it acts to like resemble ice. Which is I personally believe Ymir would be a transmuter. So now we are on to hunters. For the first hunter, I chose Chernabog, and I believe Chernabog would be a conjurer. Kind of in a sense that he is creating crystals. He's using his aura and creating crystals to his benefit. He's creating the, the ice the, for his one. He's creating a crystal that will randomly explode. And then he also creates another crystal, which will detonate it together. And as a conjurer, you can create things. You can make things to your liking. You can, like, you know, create a bomb or weapon, any kind of thing. And in a sense, Chernabog is creating the crystals. And he also creates crystals on top of you, which can detonate and explode. So that's why, personally, I believe Chernabog would be a conjurer. Next we have Scotty, and I personally would say Scotty is a transmuter for the same reason Ymir is. She's using her aura, transforming it into ice spears to slow you, make you slip and slide on ice, and like right, with her autos as well, she's kind of like, in a sense, turning her aura into ice spears and just throwing them at you, which also is very close to a conjurer, you know, she's creating these ice spears, which is what a conjurer can do, you know, create things with their aura. So with that being very close, she's creating her aura into ice and throwing them at you. Also, with a trans or with a uh, transmuter, it's kind of close. I mean, not really. It's very, it's very stretching close to a manipulator, and you could kind of say that kind of works with Colder being a manipulator. But like Colder kind of does what Colder does. You know, you just you know, tell Colder to attack, and then he attacks, and that's really it. The most of it just comes from you using your, her using her aura to create a blizzard which freezes you real quick and, and like increases damage which is close to an enhancer and then creating the ice spear that she throws at you. 
So all that is kind of why I believe she would personally be a transmuter. Last but not least, we have Shibalanke, and I personally believe Shibalanke is an enhancer, due to two reasons. One, his one, or one is his one, which makes his autos hit harder and splits them off. He's enhancing how like hard he hits with his autos. And his passive, if he keeps hitting you and keeps fighting in a sense, he grows stronger. He, he increases his damage like that. Two things give him an increased damage. Plus, if you activate his alt, if he activates his alt too, he gets increased range with it. So he's able to throw it farther. All three of those, in a sense, enhance his abilities of his autos, which is why I personally believe our uh, Shibalanke would be an enhancer. All right, next up on our list, we have the mages. And for the first mage, I chose Apwash, or as I like to call him, Ass Punch. And personally, Ass Punch is a manipulator. His one, his two, no, not his two, sorry. His one, his three, and his ult all revolve around him throwing dead bodies at you, controlling them in a sense. Like his one, he throws two bodies at you that will hit you, right? And then he throws a third one, which is three, on top of you as well. Then he can detonate the bodies and make them explode, right? And then with his ult, the big the ult is releasing the crypt. He releases all these bodies at you, releases all these dead souls at you. His whole thing is basically he's controlling all these dead bodies and using them to his advantage. So, which is why I personally believe he would be a manipulator. Next up, we have Hell, and personally, I think Hell is an emitter. Mostly due to the fact that a lot of her stuff is like throwing her aura out. It would be like her one and her three. It's all throwing her aura out. She's one throwing it at a line, either at you or an enemy, or she's creating a pulse with her aura, kind of pushing all her aura out. Plus, an emitter is very close to an enhancer and can step in the category of heal. And an enhancer can also make themselves hit harder, which is something Hell can do in her dark stance. She hits you with the two and she does even more damage. So she increases her physical, like she increases how much damage she does. She heals, and but most of it is her throwing her aura out. Well, that's why I personally believe Hell would be an emitter. Next up on the list is the Morrigan. And the Morrigan would be a specialist just cause she can be everybody and anybody. She, <clears throat> her alt, being able to choose anybody she wants, basically puts her in the category of a specialist. She can choose whatever uh, god they she wants and the, whatever their nen type would be would be what she would have. So she is a specialist all because of her alt, because she can be every, anybody and everybody. All right, now we're on to our final category being the warriors. And for the first warrior, I chose Bologna. And I believe Bologna would be a conjurer. And it's mostly due to the fact that with, between her one, her two, and her three, she's constantly switching between different weapons. She has a normal sword at first, then her one, she gets a sword and shield, two, she gets a hammer, three, she gets her chain whip. In a sense, it's kind of like she's using her aura to change what weapon she needs for what battle, or like for whatever you know fight she's going into. She's using her aura and changing it into different weapons. She's using her aura to make a sword, sword and shield, hammer, or a chain whip. And being a conjurer, you can slightly step into an enhancer, which is kind of like what her three, or an enhancer category, to heal, which is what her three can do. It can heal her if she hits people with them. Next up, we have Kukulin. And Kukulin, I personally believe, is an enhancer because he has a berserker form. This man is pure, raw aggression. He is raw attack and power. This man is aggressive as all hell, which is basically what enhancers are. Enhancers are very aggressive and very like physical they really like you know they are like strong and come at you and that's basically what kakolin is and also again with the berserker form he basically enhances his power making himself stronger which is what an enhancer does they get he gets incredibly stronger when he gets more angry and also with that he can kind of step into an emitter which is kind of like what he pulsates his anger it's kind of pulsating his anger aura out and it's doing slight damage. But it's mostly just due to the fact of Kukulin's Berserker form. All right, last and certainly not least, we have Sun Wukong. And personally, I believe Sun Wukong is a specialist, mostly due to the fact that I think he fits into mostly all the categories. He fits into the category of an enhancer because with his alt, he can heal. Like when he goes up to his cloud, he heals. And he like, you know, has a general like uh, high damage output. And plus his passive, 
whenever he gets below a threshold, he gets stronger. Like he's, he can take more hits. He also has, like when he, with his alt, he creates a clone, which is kind of like a manipulator. He sends out a clone to fight for him in his place while he goes and heals, manipulator. Also with his one, while he extends his cudgel out, which kind of can work into the category of a conjurer. He's making, he's kind of altering his uh, cudgel and making it longer and be able to hit farther and harder. Then he also can use his two, which he spins around himself and slows, in a sense, transforming his aura into a slow onto someone, making them feel like they have, like, you know, like they're slowed. And then he can also do, like, change into multiple different forms, being he can change into a buffalo or a tiger or uh, a, a bird, the eagle, the bird. Like, he can change to all those. All those different factors, he fits into almost every other category. So, which is why I personally believe Sun Wukong would be a specialist. Alright, so that's going to be the end of this video. This is a bit of a different video that I really did enjoy coming up with and making. I've been really enjoying Hunter x Hunter. It's been very good and I like Smite. So I thought the inclusion of mixing these two together would be kind of a cool and interesting video. Uh, if you like it and you want to see a part two, let me know in the comments below. I'm probably going to do one somewhere in the future. But if you want to see one, you know, sooner or anything or you just like to see it in general just let me know in the comments down below let me know what you thought of my choices for the gods and like what their nen types would be if you agree with it disagree or what your personal thoughts are i'd also like to know that and that's gonna be it for me i mean this was very fun to make and i really did enjoy it the concept i think was really cool i hope you all enjoyed this video and i will see you all later